Hey guys, this is Allie with Tip B, and today we are going to look at a jailbreak app called Frash. It essentially gives you access to uh, Flash video, Flash apps on the iPhone. Um, the way you install this, you do have to be jailbroken, um, so you're going to need Cydia and you're going to need to jailbreak. Um, before we look at this, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you I actually do not have it running on this phone yet. Um, I figured we could combine this with a little bit of a walkthrough, but first, let's go into Safari, and I have my friend's photography website pulled up here, and like most photography websites that have maybe slideshows or uh, stuff of that nature, it has Flash embedded, and this site says this site requires Flash. Visit here to download the Flash player, which we all know will not work on iPhone. So what we're going to do is close out of that, and we're going to pop into Cydia. And there are ways to manually install Flash, but there's a lot of easier ways now, so we are going to do the easy way, and this is the way I'd probably suggest you to do it, just because you're going to save some time. First thing you're going to want to do is go to Manage down here, and go to sources and you're going to go to edit add and what you're going to want to add is http and then your uh, colon forward slash forward slash repo dot b e n m dot a t forward slash and you want to add that source it's going to take a minute to add it, and it's going to update. That's what it's doing right now. This is an easier way, because before you could download the package, and I believe SSH, or do something funky, so someone finally just set up a repo for it. So now that should be added. Click Done up here. Back down here, you're going to go into Search and you are going to search for Frash. F-R-A-S-H and there it is. It's the first thing that pops up and install. Confirm. I'm actually doing this on a 3GS. Um, same process. Um, <clears throat> I would think that this would probably work on a uh, 3G, 3GS, whatever you have. I don't know if I'd recommend it on anything below a 3GS because obviously, you know, a 3G can't run all the features of 4.0 without being slow, so I don't know if I'd recommend downloading this on, you know, anything below. I don't, I think I said 3G. Yeah, 3G. 3GS, you'd be fine. iPhone 4, definitely fine. Um, I wouldn't recommend installing this on a first gen or a 3G, you're probably going to get some lag. It's probably not even going to be worth it. Um, looks like it's reloading. And it's done. And we go to return to Cydia. And... Alright, let's pop into Safari. And that is going to refresh. And it looks like when it has a flash pop-up, you just click the thing. Oh, crashed. All right. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, there it goes. So let's turn this on its side. Or not. See, this was my thing. I messed with this earlier. It looks to be somewhat buggy. Yeah, see, this is what it was doing to me earlier, and it kept crashing. If you're loading little things that might have embedded video or whatnot, it seems to be okay. But if you're loading a site that has pretty extensive flash, it's just buggy. Um, that's my experience, honestly, with flash on a computer. I don't really miss flash on the iPhone. Um, <clears throat> that's just like, here's a perfect example, like a website, like, uh, see if we can get it to go in here, like Vimeo. This was one of the main reasons I probably would have wanted Flash on an iPhone, is for um, embedded video that maybe just wasn't there yet. Um, Vimeo used to, anytime there was a video embedded with the Vimeo that um, was on a website you couldn't view it but a lot of these sites have you know added things that 
allow you to access these videos and they'll load into QuickTime. So I don't know. I'm just going to click on a random one here. And what it does is when you do this and you click play, before it would give you an error. Now it just takes you to QuickTime. So for me, I really think the point of Flash is becoming kind of moot on the iPhone. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that are going to argue that. And that's fine. But, I mean, for me, Flash in general has just been pretty buggy. Um, I can't really load a lot of things that are, you know, I mean, there's very few things that I would want to load that are flash based. And I mean, a few of them like friends websites or like, you know, my friends photography website, they continuously crash. Um, so I don't see myself keeping it installed. If you guys have better luck with this, um, let us know in the comments. I just have not had very good luck with this on a 3GS and I I just I haven't installed it on my I have not installed it on my iPhone 4. So I don't know if it would be any different on there. I don't believe so. But I mean, it's just it seems really buggy for me. So I don't know if you guys have had better luck. Uh let us know in the comments. Thanks.